If you want to learn how to make designs like this in Canva, please stick around and I will show you how. You can also make this design with other products as well and it will look just as good. So let's jump right in. I'm in Canva right now, so I'm going to create a 4x5 post. So go to create a design, custom size, and for 4x5 it is 1080x1350. Um, if you recently created any document of that size, you will see it here. Otherwise, you just type in your dimensions up here. So I'm going to select 1080 by 1350. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to bring in my product. In this case, I already have it uploaded here. If you don't, then you'd go ahead and select upload files and go to wherever you saved your product. So I'm going to click on the bottle of this blue um, cologne here center it like that then i'm going to add um, a square element so go to elements under lines and shapes select the square then i'm going to stretch it across the bottom of my canvas like this and send it to back now with my square selected i can go up to the color section here and then I can select one of the darker tones that match the bottle. So based on the product that I have, Canva suggests these photo colors to you. And you can choose whichever one you want to use. So I'm going to use this um, darker color here. The next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate the cologne bottle. So click the bottle, right click then duplicate then with the duplicate selected go to flip and flip vertical drag this below your product and then right click send backward not center back we just want it to go behind um, the image that's on top once you have it set up like this then select your duplicate go up here to transparency and decrease the transparency uh, to about 27%. Now we need to blow out the bottom of this so that we don't have the reflection just going all the way off um, the document. So you need to go ahead and search for transparent gradient. And then for graphics, go to see all and then select this one here. Drag it to the bottom of your product and then go ahead and select the color and then select the same color as your background. So now our reflection is looking good. Now we need to add the background. So go back to elements and then you want to search for gradient under graphics select this one here if you're not seeing it in the suggested click see all and then select it like this now i'm going to rotate it so i have the light color at the bottom so just rotate it by clicking this icon here bring it up to the corner of the document and resize once i have it like this i want to drag it up and then send it all the way to the back so now you see i have the light color at the bottom and the darker color at the top but i want these colors to match the product that we have as well so i'm going to select the gradient then select the first color and select the lightest color from the suggestions here now I want this to be a bit lighter than what we have now. So I'm going to select the add a new color button and then just drag it up to a lighter shade. Now for the dark color um, of the gradient, I'm going to select the second color option and then I'm going to select the same dark color as the, the floor here. 
and there we have it the background is looking good it matches correctly with the product and the floor but now we need to add some extra light behind the product so go back to your elements search for light then select this light here you want to now resize it until it's a little bit bigger than the bottle itself and then you want to send it all the way to the back but not behind this gradient here so you can right click and do send backward or you can use the shortcut that we have here so i'm going to use the shortcut which is control plus the left bracket so i'm going to hold down on control and then keep pressing the left bracket until the light is behind everything except the gradient just like that now what i want to do is to blur this to make these sharp edges um, blend out a bit more with the background so with the light selected go to edit image under adjust select see all and then for blur you just want to increase it like that and there you have it that's how you can make a stunning image like this for your products and it's the same process for all these other um, products that you're seeing here so go ahead and try this and let me know do leave a comment and share this video with anybody you think it might be helpful to so thank you and have a good day